Dogs look at us and think that we're gods. Cats look at us and think that we're staff. But horses look us right in the eye and say, where are you in the pecking order? I'm so okay. They read your energy, they read your emotions, they read your body language, they read your thinking. Horses are therapy because you're working with an animal that is afraid of you and yet wanting to trust you and wanting to connect and bond with you. And as prey animals, they've had to learn to be hypersensitive to their surroundings and their community around them, just like our soldiers and just like our first responders are taught to be hypersensitive to everything for their own safety. And our veterans and first responders have to learn how to understand how they communicate, how they come across, what they think, how their energy looks to other people, and they can learn to control all of that by way of the horse. I suffer from anxiety and being out here with the horses and just being able to pet them and, and have them love up on me, it, oh, it's, it's very relaxing. John loves you. <laughs> I know John loves He's me. Like, <laughs> and I'm free out here. The program that, no, he that, that Deborah right runs is, is an amazing program from all the veterans. It's really remarkable. They're really incredible therapy animals. We are a horse sanctuary. We take in rescued horses and surrendered horses and give them a forever home. When you get to know a horse, you're getting to know a personality, you know, an animal with every bit as much intelligence and ability to communicate, same exact as what we all have and experience. This guy knows all my secrets. Yeah. Hi, Big John. Veterans, especially that have PTSD, have a tendency to isolate themselves. And when I say to them, we need you out here, we need you to come help work on this ranch, and we're just seeing a huge difference in the ability to come out and build relationships and feel needed and, and put their skills to work. You know, at first, my husband was a little bit hesitant. He came out and just kind of thought he was gonna watch our children. And then I noticed him kind of walk off on his own and, and start connecting with the horses. Hi, baby. Hi. Being here where if you feel like talking, you can talk. Just love getting loved up. If you don't feel like talking, you can just walk around and, and communicate with horses. Coming out here to the civilian sector, there are very few programs like this. This is a wonderful program. Post-traumatic stress is a, a difficult to explain. I'm antisocial. I don't meet in big groups. My family has problems with it. My children have problems with it. You know, there's the nagging. How come you don't do this and that? Here, uh, the horses don't care. 